So this is the first day. This is when my students received. I'm sorry. This is when my students received their iPads. Um, you can go on to the next page. The goals were to reinforce the skills that were taught in the classroom, and to help students develop fine motor skills with the tiny hands. It's good for their fine motor skills. Introduce students to the wonderful world of technology, because some students don't have an, uh, an opportunity to have the technology at home and to use iPads to help teach the struggling students. I did assessments and baseline. I used the map testing to get initial baseline and starting point. I researched the internet to determine which apps would be best for the classroom and which would help with specific students. I got advice from other teachers and asked what they thought and which uh, apps worked best for them. And my map results, I put those on there. For, uh, I had three students, student A, B, and C, to give you a comparison on down through the middle of the year. You can go on. To. And then this is when they came. I took a picture of them, and just so you guys could see. Okay. And then some of the programs we used, we used uh, some stacker, ABC Phonics, Sight Word Recognition, several more. One that we used daily was Zern, and the kids love that because it was fun for them, and it also kind of gives them examples of what they see on their testing. And then for internet advice, I went to several different sites. Like I have several students with dyslexia in my room, so I checked that out to see how I could use the uh, iPads for that. And then there's teaching with iPad, Teach Thought, and just several I listed here. And the students learned the rules. Every student has an opportunity to work with the iPads. I wanted to make sure everyone had a chance. I used them during center time in which uh, they rotate daily. And they also have an opportunity. That gives me a chance to have my students come to my table and for me to work with them while the other students get a chance to reinforce skills. Um, they have a Zern account, as I mentioned before, and they have to work on that daily. I monitor that. And students who finish their seat work first will have an opportunity opportunity to go to the iPads and I tried to challenge them. Um, we do reward tickets and those reward tickets can be turned in for time on the iPad. Here's a picture of some of my students that are working hard. They finish their work early and they always want to go to the iPads. We have a uh, counting money and that's something that the little girl that has it, that's the only thing she wants to do. And she can, you can give her any amount and she can count the money. So she can give you the correct change back and I thought that was great for first grade. And uh, reading and center time, students are working on different things. I let them choose math or reading on Fridays, but usually I try to monitor and make sure they have a divided amount of time that's equal for all of them. And then just reinforcing the math facts and math help. That was uh, another little thing that we have on our iPads. And then the mid-year progress, we could see where the scores were going up. And I think that some of my struggling students really made progress with the Zern accounts that was done on the iPad. And then this is the end of year progress. So they did really, it, I, was, I was shocked. And I really think that Zern and the little iPads and the games all helped them out. And I'll just put a thank you on here. It's given my students an opportunity to familiarize themselves with technology and help them play while learning. And uh, they love the iPads, and I will use them many years to come. And that's all. Thank you.